Moby from Yorkshire. Welcome to another edition of Bands, Bikes and Bose Reviews. I've got one here today from Yorkshire. And it's the Stump Cross Ale from the Richmond Brewing Company. Now, believe it or not, they're based in a place called Richmond. Not the Ponzi posh place in London. This is Richmond in North Yorkshire, which is in People's Republic of Yorkshire. And it's... It's a brewery that's been going, I think, since 2013, or the, the current owners have taken over since 2013. And it's situated in the Grade 2 listed old railway buildings. And they were closed, I think, in 1963. That would have been under the beaching closings, where they closed a load of what they thought was inefficient or not cost effective railway stations and ended up opening a lot more of them back up in the 2000s because they realised that they actually need them. But that's by the by. They're based in in that area. They brew quite a few beers, traditional style beers. Their ingredients are interesting. They state that they use hops from Kent and the southern counties, which I think is great because Kent is renowned for its hops. It really has got a big tradition of growing hops there. And the malt, I think, comes from Yorkshire. The water is, for this one anyway, it's limestone filtered from the Stump Cross Caves, apparently. And I don't know what that's going to make it taste like. That's bound to add what they call seasoning to the water. If you get, and of course, Burton is the prime example, but if you get lots of minerals, that are naturally added to the water, i.e. typically in, in, in Burton on Trent, you get lots of sulphur because the, the water is naturally sulphurous. But you also get it from artesian wells too, where they've got you know rocks, bed rocks and you know sediment rocks, etc. I'm not I'm not into geology much, but I know a little bit about it, just enough to make me sound like I know a bit about it. But they basically season the water and they can make beer taste different. You know, people think water is water, but it's not. You know, some breweries make a point of filtering the life out of the water to get any impurities out. Prime example being Budweiser. They do that. They just just want to get every bit of flavour out of a beer, which is beyond me. But then, of course, you've got the other extreme end of that, where you've got people like you know the Burton Brewers who capitalise on that sulphurous water, use it in their beer. And that is really, really good for brewing traditional British beers. But this would be interesting if it's got that limestone filtered water, because I don't think, not that it's been mentioned anyway, I don't think I've tried a beer that's been filtered through limestone before. I probably have, but they've just not made a big thing about it. But they do. So here we are. They also use yeast from Nottingham. So you could question, well, I suppose the water and the malt are the only two things that are really native to the People's Republic of Yorkshire. You wait till Jeff Boycott hears about this, he will not be happy. He'll be on his on this phone to the Minister of War, Fred Truman, and he will come down and be all fucking northern on you. Anyway, let's stop talking bollocks. Let's get this beer checked out. Five hundred ml bottle, four point seven percent. It's what they call it, they just call it an ale, Stump Cross Ale. So really not sure what to expect, but the description on the side says a full, a rich, full flavoured English bitter using the finest traditional English hops. Yeah, so it's a bitter. Okay. Ingredients, malt, hops, water and yeast. Uh, that's about it. 
cap is just plain red, you can see that. Here's the front of the label. And that just goes around the bottle. There's the logo. Got railway, uh, railway. They've got a train on the front, paying homage to their their premises. But looks quite interesting. Um, what else they got? By agreement for Stump Cross Gavins, Bertley Bridge. That even sounds northern, doesn't it? Bertley Bridge, North Yorkshire. So right, this so this is. They've got the water from these stump cross caverns, which are the caves that the water's come from. Right, okay. And these lot are based in, as I say, Richmond. Richmond Brewery Company, returning the brewing tradition to Richmond for the first time in 100 years, or over 100 years, situated at the historic Grade 2 listed Richmond station. So there you go. Anyway, let's stop guessing. Let's get this beer open. <laughs> Right now, I tried another beer from Yorkshire yesterday, and I got really excited about it. It was the Old Ale from the Naylor Brewery. And what a disappointment that was. Really disappointed me. I didn't, it tasted like a, a cask ale, but there wasn't, there wasn't much to it. It didn't really taste like an old ale, if you know what I mean. So I'm hoping this is gonna be a bit better. Let's see what's going on. Now, they say that they don't filter their cask. Their cask ale. But that, to me, looks pretty muddy. Well, the head retention is a little bit better. God, smell that from here. It smells quite nice. There's, I can actually get some toffee malt on this. Yeah, quite... Quite strong toffee malt and a little touch of spice from them Kentish hops. I'm a little alarmed at the colour. If you look at that, I mean that is the colour of a, a Belgian double or a quad. You really can't see through that. That could almost be like coffee. That's slightly unnerving for me. One finger off white head. Mm. Okay, well, that doesn't really look like a bitter to me. But let's give it a go. Wish me luck. <music> Bottoms up. Mm. Wow. That isn't bad, actually. I have to say, oh, what's that on the finish? What's that on the finish? Well, it's quite a spicy, almost coffee-like. That's almost coffee-like finish on it which is unusual for a bitter. But if you look at that, that is how it tastes. It's got big, big toffee malt on that. The finish is slightly, I would say, a cross between dark chocolate and coffee. But there's a lot of hop bitterness on there as well that I'm getting. It's like a I'll say like a black pepper type, typical English hop bitterness that's on there. That is quite nice. <clears throat> it's just confusing with that that finish because it's it's sort of it's almost like a. As I say, it's like a stout, but with with a bitterness to it that's not coffee. It's like a black pepper, spicy finish to it. But the, the toffee malt in this is huge. It really is big, and this is really full-bodied. Now, if you look at that, you can see how full-bodied that is. You really do get 
a lot in the body. Mm. Sweet toffee. And then the finish, as I say, is just all about the, I'd say, it's like dark, dark chocolate and coffee, but with some spicy black pepper bitterness on the arse end of it. And to be honest, that is not bad. That is certainly better than the nailer stuff. I will say that. This is quite Moorish and is it toffee on and i would yeah i would drink a few of these but it's quite rich so i'm not sure whether i could session this it's 4.7 percent so you know you're getting near to the the five percent mark this stuff on cask is not filtered so the yeast is in there so it's going through another fermentation as well they don't mention that on the bottle here it doesn't say that it's it's bottle conditioned, but it's really unusual looking. That is not what I would be expecting from a bitter. I would be expecting a lot clearer amber color. And to be honest, this, they've called it a bitter, but it's more like an ale. But having said that, it's quite nice. <clears throat> The malt really is nice and it does stand out on this as well. And uh, yeah, not bad. One of the subscribers said to me that, you, you know, and they say it here as well, there's a big brewing tradition in, in Yorkshire and bad beer just doesn't survive. I suppose that's very similar to Kent to an extent, I would say. There's a lot of brewers down here and if you're brewing shit beer, you ain't gonna last long. Same, obviously, the same in Belgium and, you know, Bavaria and places like that. You're, you're not going to last long if you're brewing bad beer. And it surprises me with that Naylor Brewery. I'm sure their saving grace must be the, the cask stuff they do. But this stuff, I have to say, the point I'm trying to make is this stuff, it's nice out of the bowl. It's a bit unnerving, that colour, because it's really, it, it really does look like river water. It's like I've scooped up some manky old pond water and put it into a glass, but it actually tastes quite nice. Yeah, no complaints from me. So what's the verdict on Stump Cross Ale? Yeah, not bad. I think They've called it a bitter, they've got a rich, full flavoured English bitter. It's definitely full flavoured and it's rich, I will give them that. English bitter, I'd prefer if this was just called an ale rather than a bitter. It doesn't look like a bitter to me, certainly not looking like that. Certainly not like any bitter I've seen. And to be honest, the appearance isn't very appealing. The taste is quite good. If you like your toffee malt, little bit of you know chocolate, that dark chocolate, bitter chocolate, and a spicy finish on the arse end, then you're gonna like this, I think. Um, it's debatable how much of this stuff you could drink because it is so rich. When they say, you know, a rich, full flavored English bitter, they're not mistaken on the rich and full flavored. Oh. When you burp, you're getting. Oh, it's like it's like a chocolatey style flavour, which sometimes happens. You know, when beer warms up, I know this is going to sound disgusting, but when beer warms up and it repeats on you, there are certain parts of the beer. You know, that the oil that comes from the the hops and some of the, them other flavours, especially the uh, if it's not being filtered, they will warm up as it goes down into the stomach, obviously, and then as it comes back up, you'd, I find you get certain flavours. Certain beers will repeat on you and the flavours aren't nice. That, that just introduces 
some other different flavours as well, and you've got to be quick to get them because I, I think I've missed them again. I'm not going to make myself burn on the fucking camera. I think that is disgusting. If you see little jumps in my videos, that's me editing out the burping because I think that's fucking disgusting when you see beer reviewers and they're just talking and they're just fucking. Bleh. I don't know. Maybe that's me, but I just don't like it. It puts me off. I just think it's fucking ignorant. But there you go. That's me. That's me drinking fucking Yorkshire bitter. I like it. I'm going to give it... What am I going to give this? I'm going to give this a solid 7.5 out of 10. I think that's what it's worth. It's got nice flavours. It's got really nice malts on this. They do stand out and the body on this is quite full so the appearance will put you off but don't let it. It is quite nice. I couldn't drink too many of them because it's that full bodied that I just think it would get a bit too much for me. But everything else, it's quite nice. So I think seven, seven and a half is a fair amount for that. And I'll probably check some more of that stuff out as well because that isn't bad. The nailer stuff, I don't think I'm gonna go there again. That really fucking turned me that old, was it the old ale that they do? But that, that wasn't that great at all. The Leeds Brewing Company, the Leeds Best Bitter, that was really nice. I'll be going there again. I'm going through a, a bit of a phase of drinking Yorkshire fucking beers because this uh, this drinks well company. I'm not sponsored by them. I'm not sponsored by anyone, as I always say. They've got some really interesting stuff, but the really good stuff is all sold out. I may even have to get on the phone to them and ask them, can they get it in? Now that's going to be fucking difficult because when they hear my voice, they're going to think that fucking sovereign bastard. Let's piss in a fucking bottle and give it to him and charge him the fucking earth. They probably would at all. And you know what? They'd probably be within their rights because the amount of times that I have taken the piss out of their homeland, they've, they, they want revenge. So yeah, I may do that. I'll, I'll, tell, I'll tell you what the results are if I can understand what they're saying. Anyway, seven and a half out of 10, recommended. And remember, Beer is working class champagne.